guys, it's Hakuri here. And today, we're going to be doing another reaction. Uh, I've been wanting to react to one of Jordy Friendly's uh, uh, videos for a while because he just uploaded a new video. It's the Married at First Sight Volume 4. I've seen his other videos, I've seen them all. God damn it, it's so goddamn hilarious. He's watching all this just so we don't have to. So, holy shit. Um. Uh, be before we get started, I've been busy running around doing a lot of job interviews. Uh, so far, I've been un unsuccessful in getting a job, so that, that kind of sucks. And I'm just back to square one, just basically uh, doing other, other productivities like 3D modeling and basically doing modeling and stuff here and there. Uh, I will be going to anime, uh, anime festival in the weekend tomorrow, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully it does not rain. And I'll be making a, a first vlog video, hopefully, hopefully, so yeah, anyways, let's get right to it. Right, it's time for this week's public service announcement, oh. which I did not realise is maths, but I've had so many gangly male teenagers hug me in the street <laughs> in tears. Thank you. Thanks. My mum doesn't realise it sucks. And this week, apparently, there was... The drama was something to do with cheating. The highlight of every housewife's life going nowhere. I can't believe Cheryl did that! Also, please smash the like button. Because as much as I hate making this content, I know you enjoy consuming I it. And as the, the wise content. sages on maths have spoken, baby, baby, no, no, it's my turn to speak. It takes two to tango. Last <laughs> night, our remaining couples faced oh. family and friends. I got nothing sure. but great vibes from both of his oh, kids, that a wine and I can't bar? wait to show him how much he means uh, to me yeah. <laughs> I know this is an old interview. Oh, did you see that? Did you see how he's like, uh, like, let's just see that again. Oh my god, Jordy is so disgusting. Friends, I got nothing but great vibes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And I can't wait to show him how much. Oh, look at that, he just sliced the tongue in. <laughs> she means to me too. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. Look at that angle. Ooh. Ah! I know this is an old internet adage, but for a reason, kill it with fire. Fuck. I've been very rejected. And with Chris unable to give Vanessa the affection she desired, <laughs> what is the freaking point of being here? They chose to exit the experiment. Oh, no. That couple that I completely forgot existed. <laughs> for a shock revelation, Haley is making out with Michael. Left Ooh. dead with Real. Um. I'm sure it will come up at the dinner party. Look, it's usually very sad when someone's cheated on, but come on, chicken head. You deserve it. Tonight, <laughs> heading into the dinner party. No remorse. Some couples are more united. Is he wearing a Riddler shirt? We've had a great week since the last commitment ceremony. What is this up and down shit that most couples live through? We had slightly less fights this week. Good week. I might not be an expert like Breadloaf is, but if you're fighting constantly, maybe your personalities don't match. Oh, I'm just happy that myself and Look at his Alex. nose! Look at his face! I don't want to be the guy that judges people, but oh man, he just looks like a complete cunt. Really, really good this week. No! That man should not be allowed to speak English. This is the only thing that should come out of that mouth. There needs to be a legitimate investigation into this man's genetics. Is he a parasite? I'm pretty sure he's just a leech in a suit. He's not human. When Haley and Michael, you macked on with me, sweetheart. You did it. Man up. Recount Ooh. differing versions Ooh. of the event in question. So, obviously there's allegations, but what happened that night? The group Ooh. is shaken. There's something in my gut telling me that she's telling the truth. Oh. Against her. <laughs> God, this show makes you an awful person, giggling at turmoil. <laughs> <laughs> I am worried my marriage could potentially be over. He's been married for a week! And David's act of revenge on wife Haley. What's this? Do you even pass it around? That is disgusting. Leaves everyone in disbelief. I don't know if we've seen a dinner party unravel to this level before. Oh my oh, god. Man. What will happen in the much more boring conclusion? Ah, 
drone shots. Of course, wasn't expecting that. When I found out that Haley and Michael were cheating, I sent Stacy a message that night. Since their family get together, Stacy has been visiting her two boys in Adelaide. Ooh. She's from Adelaide? Adelaide? I would have bet my life savings she was from Perth. There is no telling mm. that cheating. If it, has, if it does come out that he has cheated, then that, that is it. I don't see how we can come back from that. Look, I know this is very slack to say, but come on. Lindsay Nagel, <laughs> I'd be crying right now if I could, but I can't. But Stacy. The last message I got from Michael was, I'm going to sleep. There's two Michaels, like... This is another unanswered question about sausage lips. Has there ever been one that's even? Always one that's up here or mm. one down there? Oops. Or do they just start deflating after a while? <laughs> Bring the intern in, tell him to get the bike pump. You're 29, <laughs> you've had all those years of partying, but like, do you need to keep going and doing that like every weekend? Is that is that necessary? Is that yeah. really what you want? No, and, you have a, and you have a son as well to think mm. about. Is that really what you want? Fuck, worst human beings on earth. Rich dudes who, in their mind, are still 18. Yeah, going out yeah. clubbing, bros. I burned it. I work hard. How? Just born out of the right vagina. While David has closed the door <laughs> on his relationship, what a makeup palette, though. I want that. Are about a disturbing Give me that video palette. recorded by her husband. I've been told from Michelle that. David rubbed my toothbrush in a toilet and filmed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boy, David. I knew there had to be some personality in there somewhere. Finally. He's so unevolved in the way in which he thinks it's not funny. Look, I know what I've done. I don't, I'm not backwards at coming forwards. Yeah, if, if I stuff up, I stuff up. I think we got a new shirt. <sighs> I'm not backwards if I'm forwards. I'm not backwards at coming forwards. I thought there's no relationship and I didn't make sense, but I'm gonna have to pause the video again for another five minutes. <laughs> it is incredible. Straight face <laughs> while saying things that make no sense at all. Modern day Shakespeare inventing new idioms and phrases as they come. And you know what? She kind of does look like Shakespeare without the beard. Mm. Also, while we're on the Just subject, take off the eyelashes yes, and bam. advice, oh loyal commenters. Of course we did. We put there's no relationship in eye on a shirt at lonelykidsclub.com. Or you can check out friendlyjordies.com because I've also got Fuck my John Howard beard shirt that? on awesome. sale now. Go out and buy it. Don't be cheap. Don't illegally download it. Did we really make that shirt? <clears throat> yeah. So that's actually a thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Probably should have let you in on this, but, uh, surprise. David's gonna learn today that every dog has their day. <laughs> See, not just adept at inventing phrases, getting phrases that already exist and putting them in the wrong context. Tis no woman, tis a linguistic machine. I do have a little bit of an ace up my sleeve, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck, busted out another! The ah! kid's saying nothing mm. yet. Absolutely nothing. That booty dog. Like, Where's Johnny? He's gone. Happen. Why do they keep having that drone shot of the Channel 10 building? Do you yeah. think the Channel 9 cameraman is longfully filming it? I wish I worked here. Yeah, the Bachelorette is Schindler's List in comparison to this shit. I like that everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's get it out. But like, it's there. Michael. Yo. Oh, here we go. It did oh. happen. Okay, so there's the admission. No, no, no. So, so it, so it did, so it did happen. That's and the there's been a conversation that's been had between Stacey and I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Dude. Even when something interesting happens on this show, it is still profoundly boring because mm. I don't know if you figured this out yet, but we don't know who the fuck any of these people are. <laughs> but we, as, as a couple, don't condone cheating. I don't think we'd ever do it to one another. Tradition, at some point in this series, that woman is going to say exactly, quote, cheating for me, personally, is a red flag. Red flag. I rubbed my toothbrush in the toilet <laughs> and put it back in my bathroom. Yum. Oh. Whoa, come on. Well, those judges are disgusted by that, but let me assure you, judges, if I ever had the opportunity to rub your toothbrushes in the toilet, I'd do it in a second. <laughs> I'd do a Tony Hawk 360 trick right <laughs> around the rim. What's happened to her regarding the toothbrush, that's down for her and Dave to discuss, but the toothbrush is not cool. It's not cool. Seriously, one that of the most disgraceful cool. things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, who did you vote for in the last election? Liberals. Obviously, there's Oops. allegations, I'm well aware. But Does I'm look a little bit later. I was slept with Hayley, I kissed Hayley, I nice. was in a room lap dancing on Hayley. I nice. have always come in here, and I've been quite honest, I think each and every one of you could say I always speak my mind. I'm sorry, okay? Alright, if you don't want to take that, that's fine, but I'm sorry. There is a difference between <laughs> confidence and being coked up. We know what it is. I should have never done that. It goes against everything that I've held. Are you saying that we did kiss, or...? Ooh. Ooh. I'm apologising for the flirtatious behaviour and for dancing on Hayley and for being in that room, but 
during that night, I did not kiss Haley. What have you done to me? You've revived the cave goblin. He is alive again. <laughs> oh no, mate, not the cave goblin. Who's lying here? Someone's lying. Very astute observation. <laughs> it is a Look real wonder face. why you only get about two seconds of airtime each episode. I cannot yeah, apologise for something that I have no recollection of happening and that I said did not happen. This might have flown before the Lewinsky scandal, but are you just repeating Bill Clinton's denial verbatim? I did not have sexual relations with that gym junkie. Can I say how you're continuing to make a mockery? Because the other person I'd like to apologize to. Because we did kiss and we did hook up. This is the worst public speaker I've ever seen. I would prefer that kid in year nine that used to look down at his notes like this and tremble with fear and the teacher would only let him sit down when he wet himself. That would be better than this morning. Did we party pat? No, we did. See, so much more likable. And I love that phrase. What have I got to gain by saying that I kiss Michael? Yeah. What have I got to gain? Exactly. A lot of enemies? Yep, see? So can you 100% <laughs> say you did hook up with her? Ooh. Ooh. The Aussie's most solemn promise, swearing by 100%. Ooh. That is Australia's hands on the Bible. I solemnly swear that I am 100% pumped for schoolies. <laughs> She's saying that they did hook up. Michael's only saying he can 100% guarantee that he can't remember, basically. Yeah, and of course, that specific man says 100% every sentence? What is it, law, is it? Michael is genuinely a good guy. No, he's Ooh, not. No one's the a good person on this show. Of going back in time and assassinating Hitler, or like punching that guy in the head. I'd punch him in the head. <laughs> but no one here is ever going to trust their husband around you now. But that's, but that's not the thing. Why should anyone trust their missus around my, oh, Michael I get that. that he's, he's no better than I am. I can't believe this. How is the woman who 50% of everything she's ever said is complete and utter gobbledygook, as in, it is not English, she's talking the most sense? Shut up. You had your turn. You had your turn? You had your turn. It's my turn. Oh. You betrayed me. Sausage loose. You betrayed every woman in this room because you made a pact at the hen's night. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? Oh. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I think we're just going to become a professional shirt business. As we've got to do. That, that is another quote that deserves to be on a shirt. You made a solid pack at hen's time. You know what? Watching this show is worth it for that one laugh. That's what gets you through. How dare you think you can get me on your side? How dare you I let you use my kitchen to bake your banana bread? I was your friend, not Michael. Why were you even out with my husband alone? If you didn't exist, my party boy boyfriend, who's 29 and still goes clubbing despite having <laughs> kids, would never find some other floozy in a club to back out with. Yes, he's a dickhead. Yes, he's a dickhead. And he parties. So you've taken a gr that for, like, gr I've taken advantage of that. I've taken advantage of that. Absolutely. You're encouraging or vulnerable Michael. Just kiss. Lesbian <laughs> kiss. Make out. <laughs> You know what the genius is of Married at First Sight? It really highlights how pathetic most people's lives are. And I applaud them for it. Are you mm. serious? You know what? Even if tomorrow I was diagnosed <laughs> by a doctor oh, with that boy. disease that makes you sit inside a giant bubble for the rest of your life, I'd still say, at least I'm not on maps, and now I've got no excuse not to watch maps. No, 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 you can't say that. <laughs> what is it with this show and the woman in every season that cheats being the best and most moral upstanding one out of a lot of them. Every time. Hundred per cent. Yeah, oh, I fucked up. I did the wrong thing. But I was the one that was forced coming to her. I knew what I did was wrong. I owned it. I admitted it to the group. Michael pretty much got off spot free. <laughs> I like her attitude. It's that real Aussie salt of the earth. Of, oh, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to get by one day at a time. You gotta respect that. You put the toothbrush in a foilet and you nice. think that someone on this table has sent it to me. Let me get my phone. This is not orthodox. Why is it recorded? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. If there was ever an opportunity to use that curb your enthusiasm meme music, it's now. Oh. Oh. Show it. Do you trust her? Do you honestly believe a word she says? I don't. I don't trust anyone. Do you believe a word she says? I don't, no, absolutely Thank not. So what happens if you have too I many couples in either. one whole area? <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I gonna do now? Go back to partying in clubs and sniffing coke, I suppose.
This is the dead end for me. God, Channel 9 has figured out a gold mine. This is their business model now. Nothing has happened for th four weeks, and then, oh my god, there was one second of action. Let's Jesus. talk about it for another two weeks. And speaking of bullshit, buy this cheaply Xerox shirt. You know you want it. LonelyKidsClub.com and or FriendlyJordies.com. Also, please smash the like button. Yay! Please share and comment below. Comment. Oh man. So that was Friendly Geordies. Uh, Merit at First Sight Volume 4. Hot damn, that was pretty funny. Uh, that's what happens when you have too many conflicts in one whole area. Just one, one whole, like, room. And by the way, if I did, if I did take someone super rush, I'd probably also put in the goddamn toilet. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> well, guys, thank you again for watching. And go subscribe to Friendly Geordies. His videos are fucking hilarious. I love his videos. And, you know, just give his channel, you know, some love. And, oh, yeah, and buy his t shirts, because I didn't know those t shirts existed. <laughs>